Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, we will let us continue on how to make schedule about the wiring of 66K breaker to control panels. So let's begin part 2 of the video today. We have already prepared many videos about different kinds of wiring for 11 kV for 66 kV panels. Links for all the videos are mentioned in our description box below. Please go and check out the videos. We have also many videos about how to read the drawings, panel drawings. Okay, so all links are mentioned in the description box. Also, we have many videos about the testing of various equipments like transformer and energy meter. So, you can uh, see all these videos also. The links are mentioned in the description box below. So, as we have seen in our first part of this video, that the schedule making process is a two-way communication, right? So we have to do wiring at both the ends for the breaker also and for the control panel also. We have already seen in part 1. We have seen what is the requirement to prepare the schedule. And then we have also checked that uh, mainly there are two parts of the wiring from control panel to breaker. First one is for the control of the breaker and second is to monitor the healthiness of the breaker. In part 1 of this series, we have already covered the control of breaker wiring. So now we will be seeing about various types of indications from the breaker to the control panel. Okay. So let us quickly see the recap of the control of breaker. See, we have already seen how negative and positive DC supply is provided. Then we have checked about the uh, remote closing, remote trip, protection trip for both the coils, right? So, these are basic control wiring, okay? And now let us begin with indication circuit in today's video. So, we have started with the indication of breaker. So, let us see. First, we will be doing is We will see post-close and pre-close supervision for trip coils, both the trip coils, okay, right. Next, we will see CB indication positive that is to be sent from the panel to the breaker. Then CB indica close indication, CB open indication, this both will be received from breaker towards the panel. CB open semaphore, CB close semaphore, CB auto trip. CB auto trip return from the breaker and then spring charge indication and finally SF6 gas pressure normal indications. So let us see how the wiring is done in the drawing. We will first see the drawing of panel. Okay, as uh, we have already seen uh, this drawing and we know that 95A is the supervision relay. Okay. And so when we are talking about post-close supervision and pre-close supervision for trip coil 1, so this 95A is the supervision relay. When you are talking about post-close, that is when the breaker is closed, okay. So 52A will be the contact we will be looking for and the wiring will be done from here, okay. So uh, X4 is the terminal okay and the seventh number uh, is okay at x47 is the terminal number and the ferrulink mentioned over here will be k7 right and when we are close uh, discussing about pre-close supervision so 52b will is what we'll be looking for so over here as you can see uh, x48 is the terminal and k9 will be the ferrule right so 52B is in the when the breaker is in the open condition that is when the breaker is off. Okay. Now we will see the similar things for trip circuit 2. 
so 95b is the supervision relay for trip circuit for trip coil 2 and similarly 52a and 52b so 52a is connected at x4 13 with the ferrule given as k107 right and when we are talking about pre-close okay when the breaker is open so we will be con seeing this contact that is located at 14 number of terminal with the ferrule number of k109 now let us see these things in the breaker diagram okay so this is the breaker diagram let us zoom in quickly okay and now you can see uh, pre-close and post-close for trip circuit 1 okay so when we are talking about post-close after the breaker has closed and that is breaker is in on condition okay so we have x1 12 and k22 is the ferrule next is pre-close x1 13 and ferrule given is k26 similarly we will see for trip coil number 2 protection and post close for trip circuit 2 pre close for trip circuit 2 so post close it is at x114 ferrule number is k32 and for pre close x115 k36 you can easily get this from the drawing right now let us discuss about the indications for indications again we will go back to the panel drawing here we are having this panel drawing okay so for panel drawings basically we have l1 that is and l2 that is 110 volts dc supply l1 is positive l2 is negative this is to be given inside the panel okay and so for cb indication positive we will write it as kx 5 1 terminal and the ferrule given will be L1 ok now we want CB close indication so for CB close indication you can see it is connect this are all the LEDs ok they are con they are situated on the control panels and uh, over here the connection is made at X5 2 and the ferrule will be L3 right similarly when we want the indication for cb open we will see it is mentioned over here cb open okay so x53 and the ferrule given is l5 we will see for semaphore closed right okay so we can see spring charge indication is mentioned over here so we will have x55 terminal and l7 is the ferrule name given okay so you get the indication when the spring is charged and next besides that you have a sf6 gas pressure normal indication x57 and l9 is the ferrule number given okay now we will see about CB semaphore indication right so this is for 52 CB semaphore you can see 11 right but already L1 will be common okay so you just have to check for open and close of the semaphore so the terminals will be 12 and 13 12 for open okay X5 12 and L15 is the ferrule and similarly for close 13 will be the terminal and L17 is the ferrule number given right and now we will see about auto trip see for auto trip the wiring is done through the tnc switch okay and whenever the cb is in open condition okay uh, one contact of the auxiliary switch which is in the nc condition through that we will get the cb auto trip indication okay so uh, x520 okay over here and l27 will be the ferrule and written you will get from here x521 and l29 will be the ferrule number 
right now we will see all this indications for the circuit breaker in the circuit breaker drawing we will have this kind of thing in that uh, auxiliary switch context will be mentioned over here so we have a one auxiliary switch and we will be using all this context of this auxiliary switch for the indication part right let us see and also for gas density monitor right you can see different kinds of features are already mentioned in the drawing and we will be using spare auxiliary context okay for cb indication positive x3101 we will use this okay before starting in detail about this thing uh, you have to understand that all this is all the positions of the switch whether it is nc contact or no or, or no contact these are the contacts when the breaker is in off condition when the breaker is open okay so whenever the breaker is open this contact this between 1 x3102 and 101 uh, this is normally closed and this is normally open as soon as the breaker turns on this will be no and this will become nc so this particular thing we have to always keep in our mind okay now uh, as we have seen cb indication positive we will be taking it from 101 and u21 will be the ferrule uh, next we want cb closed indication okay so this is cb closed indication okay so closed indication we will get from here uh, 104 okay and u24 will be the ferrule similarly open indication right this is open indication and this is already normally closed so it will give you open indication immediately so 102 and u22 cb semaphore we can take from 106 open okay and close we will take from 108 right and similarly for okay now you are getting this context directly okay but you have to give positive to this side also so we have to provide loops of the positive right so loop of l1 you have to give from x3101 to x3103 to x3105 okay because we are using all these switches Uh, for cb indication and for cb semaphore and up to x3108 107 okay and 108 you will be getting cb uh, close semaphore right so this is very important to provide the loop for the positive right now for uh, cb auto trip we will be using again x1 okay so this is the separate positive we are giving because we are using the auto trip function through the tnc switch okay so no loop over here and directly you will be giving uh, x3109 okay and return will be going into the panel uh, from here uh, x1 x3110 and u42 will be the ferrule number now we will talk about x, uh, sf6 gas pressure normal so sf6 gas pressure normal again x122 and x123 in between context are already provided it is mentioned in the drawing right so over here we will be taking x123 and l2 will be the ferrule number uh, again we will have to provide a positive link over here so link will be x122 right and now spring charge indication so this is about spring charge indication okay and we have x156 for spring charge indication over here l16 is the ferrule number and again a loop will be provided to x150 right so this is a schedule for the indication part of the breaker 
see this is a complete schedule including the control plus indication uh, we have discussed already from 1 to 9 in a previous video part 1 and up to 22 we have discussed in today's video i hope many of your doubts are clear how to make schedule and everything if you have any queries left you can always ask in the comments below keep watching our video and keep waiting for part 3 let us know in the comments how you like our videos and encourage us to make more. Thank you.